I've been on a roll making workout pants and uh, well, I made my money tight. Let me show you. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews and welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, I actually shared with you all a pair of workout tights and a sports bra that I had made. Well, I went ahead and ordered some more fabric from Spandex World, my money fabric, and <laughs> I made a new pair. So I wanted to get on here and show you guys what I actually came up with. So the tights, they're these dry tights again from Green, Green Style Creations. And you see I went with a bright orange. I have my money fabric and they glisten. You see that? <laughs> this is Spandex World's like holographic type of fabric. And really like when you take a close look at it you can see that it has little tiny bumps in it that glisten i really love these little sparkly hundred dollar bill things <laughs> the one thing that i did differently with these um is that i went in and did a lot of twin stitching twin needle stitching mostly because Right here, where the mesh is, on my pink pair, the seam allowance flips in. So this right here flips into the other side, and you can see it through the mesh. It kind of drives me a little, a little bonky, a little bonkers. It kind of drives me a little crazy. Um, but this pair, I decided to kind of like take care of that. So I did twin stitch all the way down the sides. And I did do the hem. I twin stitched that hem as well. So that's really the, that's really the biggest, that's really the biggest change that I made. Another thing about this pair of pants that's different is that I actually got my pocket right. <laughs> my little pocket, it looks great. I'm really proud of it. It, it took a little bit of work, but it's, I think it looks good. I love wearing these pants. When I showed them to my husband, by the way, he called them tacky. And let me tell you, I just kind of looked at him like, they're workout pants. Like, I bought this because it was meant to be fun and tacky. Like, come on. If you saw me running down the street in my sparkly $100 bill pants, aren't you gonna crack a smile? Laugh a little? Yeah, I think you would. <laughs> so those are my tights. Now for the sports bra, I did use the same pattern that I did with the um, with a pink one. And that is, let me get it, it's Simplicity 8560. The difference for this one is that I actually went in with view C here, the front of view C, which is just that v-neck, and I did the same back. And I hope you can see it there. View B's back. That's what I did. Also, because I was trying to use up whatever scraps that I had left over from my pants with this money fabric, I um, decided to put on a white band. And now I'm questioning, well, honestly, I should have made it orange, but let me show you my bra. Okay, so this is my bra with the V-neck. I did do a much nicer job with the stitching around the armholes. It looks a lot more even. I'm really proud of that. You can see the inside. I did line the inside in the orange. And let me show you the back. There's the back. I, you know, thinking back on it, I have no idea why I put a white band on this thing because there's no white in my tights and I made it to match my tights. So why did I put a white band on my bra? I don't know. There are a couple of things different about this bra um, as compared to the one that I previously made. The first difference is that I didn't use the power mesh. Well, it wasn't a power mesh. It was just a pink mesh panel in the front. I decided to leave off that mesh panel for this one and just go in with the V. Also, I had to use power net 
in my pink one to lend it more support and I just basically underlined the entire all of the front pieces with power mesh power net I'm sorry with this one I omitted it because I really kind of wanted to see what the big difference would be and to be honest it's a really big difference um, this bra is definitely not as supportive I can't go running in it because I'm just gonna be bouncing all over the place um, and quite honestly inverted yoga moves might be an issue with this bra as well um, just because the V comes down a little low I'll insert some pictures here so that you can see what I'm talking about <laughs> Another thing that I would change on this, other than the white band, is that I used the green in my bobbin when I was twin stitching, and you can see there the, the contrast. I mean, it's not bad, it's on the inside, um, but if I were to do this again, I would definitely change that out, use some orange thread, something that matches the inside, so that way it's not as obvious. Really, other than that, I I like these sports bras. I do want to try a different style sports bra. I've been attending the great sewing bra, the great the great bra sewing bee. I think that's it. Um, so that's been that's actually taking place right now. It started yesterday, Thursday, and it's going to be going on through Sunday. And I've been writing down lots of little tips and tricks um so i'm hoping that i'll be able to put together a real legit sports bra soon <laughs> so these are the two new pieces that i've added to my workout gear and i'm really proud of them um let me know if you've been making any workout gear what you think about these let me know if you would wear money pants i really want to know i do i want to know <laughs> leave it in the description box below if you haven't already and you've liked this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I try to post videos once or twice a week and when you subscribe, it'll actually let you know when a new video's up. <laughs> well, until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful day and have a great weekend. Bye.